Hi YouTubers and welcome to my channel. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how I built this hydroponic rain tower slash vertical grow tower system using 4 inch and 1.5 and inch PVC pipe. This system can grow 20 plants in roughly one square foot of space using a 5 gallon bucket reservoir. Aeration is quite good even without an air stone but I may need to add one later on. Here's a list of the materials you would need to build this hydroponic rain tower. One five gallon food grade bucket and two lids. Seven feet of four inch PVC pipe. 10 feet of one and a half inch PVC pipe. PVC solvent cement, one four inch PVC collar, one four inch PVC bracket, one five inch PVC square, six feet of half inch polytubing, one half inch barb tea, aquarium safe silicone, two one and a half inch bolts with nuts, one submersible pump that can pump to a height of six feet, seedlings, hydrogen, and about 22 two inch net cups, an air stone and an air pump. Tools required for this bill, a drill with a three eight inch bit, a mitre box or a mitre saw to cut 45 degree angles on the PVC pipe and a jigsaw. We need to cut two lengths of the four inch PVC one length at six feet and the other at four inches. We need to draw four equally spaced lines around the four inch PVC pipe. I used a length of wood to draw the first straight line, then drew the remaining three lines at three and a half inches apart. To stagger the holes for the net cups, on the first line I placed a mark at 5 inches from the top of the pipe, then made other marks at 15 inches, 25 inches, 35 inches and 45 inches. On the second line I placed the first mark 10 inches from the top of the pipe and the remaining marks at 20 inches, 30 inches, 40 inches and 50 inches. The marks on the third line should be the same as on the first line and the marks on the fourth line should be the same as on the second line. We will use the one and a half inch PVC pipe to cut 20 net cup holders. If you have a mitre box and I do not have one, make the first cut at a 45 degree angle. Then measure one and a half centimeters as shown, then make a straight cut. Cut 20 of these holders. If you have a mitre saw, you can make the second cut at a 12 degree angle. Whatever type of saw you use, you want the holder to have a 45 degree cut on one end, a one and a half inch centimeter space here, and either a straight cut or a 12 degree angle cut on the other end. Take one of the PVC net cup holders and draw a center mark on the outside of the 45 degree cut. Then center the PVC holder on the marks made on the 4 inch PVC pipe. Align the marks and trace around the PVC net cup holder. Repeat the procedure for the remaining 19 marks on the pipe. When tracing around the pipe, make sure the 45 degree cut is pointing towards the bottom of the pipe. To cut the holes out, first drill a hole large enough to accommodate the jigsaw's blade. Then using a jigsaw, cut along the line. Repeat the procedure for the remaining holes. Then lightly sand to remove any burrs. This is how your pipe should fit. If the hole is too small, the pipe will pop out and if the hole is too large, it won't glue together. We are now ready to glue up the net cup holders to the pipe. Apply PVC solvent to the inner rim of the hole on the 4 inch pipe and to the outside of the PVC holder. Insert the holder into the hole. You may have to squeeze it a bit. 
adjust the pipes to ensure they fit snugly and that there are no gaps. Then insert either a one inch piece of PVC or a wooden broom handle to force the pipes to make contact. Add some more solvent around the pipe and allow it to dry, which should take between two to three minutes. Once dry, remove the pipe or broom handle, then continue to glue the remaining 19 holders. Once the PVC holders are firmly glued into place, apply an aquarium safe adhesive silicone to fill the spaces around the pipe and leave it to dry for at least 24 hours. Trace the inside of the 4 inch collar onto the 5 inch PVC cover. Make an outline for the half inch tubing in the center of the cover. Cut out the circle and drill a hole for the tubing to fit snugly. Drill about 20 1 8 inch holes in the PVC cover and remove the burrs with some sandpaper. Drill two holes in the bucket and secure the PVC bracket with the bolts and nuts, leaving room to the top so that the lid can be closed. Measure the distance from the inner rim of the bucket to the 4 inch PVC pipe. Then place the pipe on the lid and trace the outline. Cut out the 4 inch circle using the jigsaw. Using the second lid, cut the excess off so that the lid fits snugly inside the bottom of the bucket. Whilst the pipe is inside the bracket, straighten it, then draw the outline onto the lid in the bottom of the bucket. Cut out the 4 inch circle. The bottom lid will help keep the pipe securely in place and prevent it from tipping over. Glue the 4 inch PVC collar to the top of the pipe. Place the pump in the bucket and make a mark where your tubing will exit. Cut out the hole. Drill several holes around the bottom of the pipe. Place your tubing through the hole in the PVC cover. Insert the half inch T fitting into the tubing using warm water if necessary. Insert the PVC cover into the 4 inch collar. Cut a notch on the rim of the bucket for the electrical cord and the air hose tubing. Place your tower through the lid and into the bucket. Connect the tubing to your pump. Do a test run to make sure there are no leaks. If you need to apply more silicone, let it dry for at least 24 hours. I filled the bucket and left it overnight, then added the nutrient solution the next day. The lettuce seeds were planted in oasis cubes. I placed the seedlings in two inch net cups with hydroton to help keep it in place and block out the light. After placing the net cups in the holders, I made a single cut on the net cup, overlapped it and inserted it into the holder. This allowed it to sit firmly in the pipe with the outer rim of the net cup resting on the rim of the holder. To avoid algae growth in the bucket and to help keep the temperature down, I place some reflective insulation foil on the lid and around the bucket. And there you have a completed hydroponic rain tower, holding 20 lettuce plants. But I'm sure other leafy greens would do just as well. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Well, take care and bye for now. Happy growing.